thank you everybody for your attention to come uh, to the session of Dragonfly introduction. Uh, I'm Alan Sun from Alibaba Cloud, and uh, my colleague Zuo Zhenhu uh, still will give some introduction about Dragonfly. Uh, before my session, I want to ask several questions. Uh, how many nodes do you manage in one single Kubernetes cluster? Yeah, could you give me a number? 30. 30? OK, perfect. More than 30? Oh, or 100? Oh, 10, OK. <laughs> More than 30? 50. 50, OK, 50, perfect. OK, so. We can see lots of users, they are using Kubernetes to manage the node at different scales, uh, maybe 10, maybe 30, 50, maybe 100. But for some maybe larger companies like, like, like Alibaba, our cluster is much larger. Uh, actually, the number is more than 1,000. Yeah, 1,000 and uh, 10,000 in one cluster. When we release our applications, there is lots of replicas of this application. So we try to distribute the images to every node of the cluster in advance. You know, because uh, some legacy applications, it is very hard to, con to be uh, containerized. So the container image may be very, very large, maybe two gigabytes or more than two gigabytes. Some legacy enterprises, I think, still uh, met the same issue. So how to distribute the image efficiently at your cluster at large scales? It is a, a very uh, real question you should answer. At that time, we try to provide some solutions to uh, adopting the P2P scenarios, uh, the image distribution scenarios. It is Dragonfly. Okay, so here is the very brief agenda of my session. First, I will uh, give some introduction about the history. Why Dragonfly? What is Dragonfly? And the second, it is about the status. Actually, Dragonfly is already a sandbox project in CNCF, and we are planning to try to make it enter into incubation level uh, uh, after maybe uh, three months. And my co college uh, will uh, take some brief introduction about adoption and uh, some roadmap also. First, let me introduce the history. What is Dragonfly? Dragonfly is a P2P based, uh, highly reliable uh, image distribution system. And uh, it will solve the bottlenecks in pulling images in DCs at skiers. Here is the milestone. Uh, it is born um, uh, in 2015. At that time, we tried to distribute files. You know, uh, we should distribute files all across the region or across the cluster. And uh, to make it, we uh, provide two fundamental features of Dragonfly. The first, of course, it is uh, peer to peer. And the second is a CDN, because we should try to make the requested file to be cast on one single node to be super node, and try to make it distributed among the peer networks. Yeah, uh, you know, Docker is born in 2013, and it becomes very, very popular at about 2015. At the uh, at the late of 2015, uh, we tried to make Dragonfly to support image distribution, not only the file distribution, but also the image distribution. Um, in, the, in the November of 2016, uh, Dragonfly has already become a very, very fundamental tool of industry, uh, of infrastructure in Alibaba Group. And it covers all the scenery, almost all the sceneries of the image and the file distribution. And uh, at that time, we open source the Dragonfly, open source the Dragonfly, and uh, uh, we try to make it uh, uh, 
uh, try to discuss with the ecosystem, try to uh, discuss with the customer, whether we can try to make it more standard to provide the services for the wider ecosystem. And uh, in the November of uh, 2017, we tried to integrate with Harbor. Yeah, the previous session is about Harbor, and we tried to make it uh, integrate with Harbor. What's the integration? Uh, you know, Harbor is used to store the images and manage the images. But we do, Dragonfly does the distribution. Uh, how about uh, uh, preheat the images from the harbor to the Dragonfly? This is what we want because we, we, we try, to make, uh, try to make it more easier to, 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 to save more time when distributing images. And uh, we supported memory file systems uh, at, at uh, large scales. Um, in our cluster, we have lots of nodes. This physical machine is, uh, the, the equipment is very, very high, all with uh, SDS, uh, SDS disk. But we found that we take advantage of the high quality equipment, but on the, uh, on the cloud environment, Lots of VM machines, they are taking advantages of network disk to, to, to replace the uh, local disk I.O. So we found some, some, some shortcomings of Dragonfly. We tried to support uh, the memory file system to, uh, to use memory to, uh, to, to reduce the uh, disk I.O. Yeah. And uh, in the... In the November of 2018, Dragonfly joined CNCF as a sandbox project and uh, integrated with Harbor. Uh, actually, uh, at this point, you know, in the industry, in the ecosystem, in the upstream, there are several P2P distribution tools. Maybe you heard of uh, the Kraken project from Uber, right? Uh, here's a very uh, funny story about that. Actually, Yesterday, um, my colleague and I and the Kraken team have dinner very happily to discuss about it. Uh, uh, actually, they are almost the same, almost the same. Uh, Kraken plays a, a more roles at the uh, registry. They, they build a very simple registry to build the image registry and the distribution part, but Dragonfly only focuses on the distribution part. Yeah, and uh, for the P2P um, policy, uh, I think they have a tracker to make seed, generate seed, they have tracker to record uh, all the node status, and uh, we have a super node to make it very similar policies. Actually, uh, we in some enterprises, there are closed source the project, which is aimed at a P2P image distribution, like like a project in eBay. Say the project in eBay is very interesting and very uh, fancy, I think, because uh, when scheduling, uh, zero P2P tool, tool system is totally decentralized. They try to make all the scheduling system, uh, scheduling data in the client to spread, use gossip to spread the information. But uh, in Dragonfly, we have a super node to track everything. Uh, so uh, the Dragonfly super node may suffer some HA problem, but currently we are trying to solve it in the upstream. And now we are doing the refactoring with Golang. Uh, at the very beginning of this project, we, we use three languages to build these tools. One Python, Supernode with Java, and Golang with a, with a proxy. <laughs> but now we are trying to make it unique with Golang. And we support the HTTPS registry, and we have more than 50 adopters. Actually, uh, some, adopters, some adopters, they haven't uh, talked to us to tell tier, tier us, so I think the, number will be much larger. And the second part is the status. 
my colleague, Zuo Zheng, will, will, will share more details about that. This will come. Yeah. yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm the founder of Dragonfly. Uh, leading is the design and the part of development. Now, let me introduce uh, the Dragonfly's current situation. Uh, Dragonfly has been open source for 18 months and uh, has joined the uh, CNCF Sandbox project. Since Dragonfly is an image distribution system, there is no doubt the distribution efficiency is uh, the first element. So let's uh, start with uh, performance comparison. Uh, on the left is the testing condition. Uh, there are two virtual machines, Lonely Server, and the 200 virtual machines uh, as clients. Uh, and the uh, uh, image size tested is uh, 750 uh, megabytes. Uh, on the right is the performance comparison date. Uh, X exceeds the number of parallel downloads, and Y exceeds the uh, average download time. The orange curve represents the uh, average, uh, average time using Dragonfly to download the image. It can be clearly seen that uh, with the expansion of download scalar, download time is still very stable, basically maintained at about uh, 18 seconds. Uh, basically maintained, uh, okay. Uh, after uh, calculation, uh, the download uh, make, uh, make for use of uh, the client's network bandwidth. Uh, about 90% uh, mm, bandwidth. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 it, uh, it also shows that uh, Dragonfly, uh, Dragonfly's P2P net uh, effect is very remarkable. Uh, uh, in contrast, uh, let's see the uh, green curve. It indicates the download time with the uh, native mode, which downloads the image uh, directly from registry. It, it, it is obvious that uh, download time increases uh, exponentially as the scalar in increases. At the same time, uh, when the scalar reaches a higher, a higher level, level uh, the latency will go down, which leads to uh, failure of download. But using Dragonfly doesn't have this problem. Because only the super node downloads image just once from uh, registry to make the initial seed and uh, for the client to use. It can also provide a CDN catch for uh, subsequent downloads. Uh, from the above data, uh, we have good reason to believe the Dragonfly can solve the problem about efficiency and the stability of image distribution at a large scale. At the same time, the use of Dragonfly will not bring any intrusive modification to the, uh, to the kernel engine, image, uh, latitude, Kubernetes, and so on. Uh, of course, Dragonfly also supports integration with the related system uh, in order to generate uh, more chemical reaction and uh, further enhance its distribution uh, capability. Uh, okay, just now we learned that uh, Dragonfly has a very powerful capability to distribute image. So what is the, what is the status of Dragonfly in the open source community? Okay. Uh, uh, at present, uh, more than 50 uh, companions have become adopters of Dragonfly, which are distributed in various industries, including Alibaba Cloud and the Financial, China Mobile, uh, Huawei, Lazada, and so on. Uh, Dragonfly currently have more than uh, 3,400 stars on GitHub, as well as uh, six maintainers and uh, 32 contributors. In addition to GitHub, we also have a variety of uh, community discussion groups, such as uh, GitHub, uh, DingTalk, and WeChat. Uh, Dragonfly is about to complete its refactor with Golang and uh, is designing many new features. We warmly welcome uh, interested people to join us to make uh, Dragonfly stronger and stronger. Uh, okay. We have just introduced the uh, current situation of Dragonfly's development in the community. Next, uh, let's focus on the main uh, principles and uh, core architecture of Dragonfly. I believe you believe, uh, will be more interested in, uh, in this aspect. <coughs> okay. 
Uh, first, let's uh, briefly analyze the process of image distribution with Dragonfly's P2P uh, technology. A Dragonfly client named dfget is installed on each node, uh, which is uh, configured as a download proxy for the Canon engine. Uh, when the Canon engine executes the pull image command, the pull request will enter the proxy. So the client, uh, Dragonfly client will get the uh, download URL of an uh, image layer from the le uh, registry, and then accesses the super node with some parameters, uh, including that URL and uh, other data. When the super node receives the registration request from a client, it will, it will add the client to a P2P network, uh, which is uh, composed of multi clients downloading the same uh, image layer. At the same time, the super node will synchronize the image from a registry at uh, most once. In the process of synchronization, every block downloaded will generate uh, a seed in the local storage, which can be uh, immediately spread uh, between multiple clients. When the client finishes all the pieces of a layer, the container engine will copy the layer from the client to, uh, to the local image store uh, via local HTTP request. Uh, we are also planning to uh, further uh, accelerate the download by streaming model, which, uh, which can avoid disk I.O. and copying on the client site. Uh, each layer's download is as shown above. Uh, and when all the layers needed for an image are downloaded, then the, uh, the poor command is executed successfully. Mm. Uh, if there are other nodes that will need to download uh, the same image afterwards, because the previous one has been uh, captured by CDN, the seed, the seed in caches can be directly used for block propagation without synchronizing uh, the image from registry and uh, making the seed again. Obviously, uh, the download later will be faster than, uh, than the previous one. Okay. Uh, I believe everyone already knows more about Dragonfly. Finally, I'd like to introduce the uh, core architecture of Dragonfly, uh, which is the Supernode's Dragon uh, architecture. Okay. Uh, by introducing the uh, Supernode architecture, you will understand how Dragonfly does its best to improve the download rate and uh, save network traffic. A super node is mainly composed of five modules, uh, including P2P uh, uh, scheduler, uh, CDM manager, uh, transmission controller, uh, data precator, and uh, storage management. Okay, uh, the P2P scheduler is responsible for assigning download tasks to each ta uh, each client. Uh, the task information mainly includes block number and uh, which client's uh, corresponding blocks were downloaded from. There are a total of six, uh, six scheduling strategies. I will introduce the first uh, three uh, strategies. First, uh, the sparseness denotes the preference for choosing blocks uh, that are listed and distributed in the P2P network. By this way, uh, each block can be evenly distributed in the P2P network, uh, which, uh, which can avoid the uh, a sequence of uh, scarce resource. Uh, the second strategy uh, is proximity, uh, which means that a uh, client um, prefers to download blocks, uh, uh, blocks from the nearest nodes, which greatly uh, uh, reduces the net network latency. The third strategy is back to back, to back uh, which indicates uh, Download, uh, which indicates preference for choosing some blocks which are not yet uh, downloaded and are closest to the last blocks uh, that, were downloaded, uh, that were downloaded by the current, uh, current client. After that, uh, the, uh, the client will write a disk uh, in the approximately sequential order to improve IO, uh, IO efficiency. Mm, okay. The first three strategies have been introduced, and the others will not be introduced one by one. Uh, next, let's focus on uh, CDN management, which has three main functions. 
uh, first, the signalizer is responsible for downloading image from the gesture and generating block seeds. It also controls uh, that the same image will only be downloaded once. Uh, second, the catch is responsible for verifying the validity and the consistency of catches. In addition, catch is also used to uh, process catch GC. Uh, third, the compressor is responsible for choosing, uh, choosing the most uh, compressible blocks for compression. By this way, we can obtain very high compression revenue, which can not only increase the speed, but also save network traffic to a large extent. OK, uh, let's, let's look at another module. Uh, it's a transmission controller. Uh, which is mainly used to control the up limit uh, uh, of download rate and uh, uh, block size. At the same time, uh, each block has been uh, encapsulated by super node, which can ensure the integrator of a block and uh, avoid the tampering with it. Uh, next, let's focus on a uh, data predictor, which uh, refers to automatically synchronize the required image to super node before download. So it can eliminate the synchronization from a registry in the download process. Uh, the last is storage management, which is mainly responsible for the storage of various data, including block data, seed metadata, soft link, and stat uh, statistic for distribution, and so on. In addition, Supernode can also determine whether to use a, a memory file system uh, uh, according, according to uh, the hardware. Uh, if the memory file system is enabled uh, when downloading uh, large files, uh, data can be read and write directly uh, through the uh, memory without a disk I.O. This uh, not only uh, speeds up the download efficiency for, uh, for large files, but also avoid the problem uh, that uh, uh, large files occupy I.O. resource for a long time. Uh, through the con uh, coordination of uh, above uh, modules, the super node is absolute, absolutely worth of its name and uh, ensures the super efficiency and uh, stability for downloading image. Okay, here's the status of uh, Dragonfly. Next, let's Alan continues with the following introduction. Thank you. Okay. Let's introduction. Let's introduce more about the adoption. Uh, I will show you two cases about the Dragonfly's uh, adoption. The first case is about Alibaba Cloud. Actually, uh, there is a product which is named ACK, Alibaba Cloud Kubernetes Services. They provide the services to the end users to enjoy the services which is based on Kubernetes. The, some users, they are using Kubernetes at very large scales, at uh, the middle scales, and they wish to distribute the image very uh, speed, uh, very rapidly, and, and uh, ACK uh, do the integration of Dragonfly. Here's the architecture. Actually, Dragonfly's uh, client is used to is used to be a daemon set which is installed on every node of the customer's cluster, and uh, there will be a single super node uh, container uh, in the control layer. The first part, uh, when you try to try to download images, uh, stock engine will try to. Uh, try to send a request. But before sending the request, there is a, uh, there is a config watching that there is a, uh, this config watching is watching that uh, whether there is an image uh, to the super node cache. If there is, then the dock engine will trigger a pull request from uh, to the DF daemon. DF daemon, you can 
you can regard it as a proxy to prox the Docker image pooling request, and then it can it can try to make it to the to the super node. Okay, the DF daemon will try to find the manifest from the registry, but the layers, but the blobs is still in the registry. Uh, we, this is the most uh, size of the image. We try to distribute it. And uh, it will trigger a process which is named uh, DF get. DF get is a, is a peer, peer agent. It can download the files from other peers, and it can also provide a downloading services for other peers. So it is a P2P network agent. OK, after downloading the blobs, everything is, um, is OK. Downloading from the CDN, uh, the image is cached uh, from the registry by the super node. So download from the CDN, and it also provides the downloading services for other, other peers. So with this architecture, uh, a cluster, maybe more than 50 nodes, can rapidly distribute the image around all the cluster. It's very efficiently. This is uh, this is the practice in Alibaba Cloud, and uh, the second this is the practice of uh, China Mobile. China Mobile, you can regard it as the largest uh, uh, telecom companies in China. Uh, actually, their technology is very fancy. Uh, at, a, at a very early stage, they still tried, uh, they tried to adopt a CNCF project in their production environment. Here is the architecture. Uh, we can see this is the Dragonfly system. And there, the top, the top half of the picture, it is the control layer of their architecture. So when an image is built by their uh, continuous integration system, they try to uh, push this image to the inv uh, production environment. Here is the client. The client is the, uh, is the component to send out the control command. With the command, and uh, it will push the images to the harbor. Harbor is the registry, and Harbor will try to use the Dragonfly's preheat API to try to make the image to push to Supernode's cache. Then it is ready for all the, uh, for, for Supernode to have the image. After this is done, then it will try to, try to start distributing. It will send the commands to the, some, some of their services. And the services will trigger, uh, trigger every image pooling request on the single node's uh, dock engine. The dock engine will try to take advantage of the DF client, which is DF daemon and DF get, to try to construct a peer network to distribute the image. So after this, after this done, uh, the image can very easily to distribute on every node. So we can see. With Dragonfly's uh, services, uh, enterprises can be easily integrate it into their uh, currently stack of infrastructure. So it shows a little bit the scalability of Dragonfly. And uh, here is the part of the road roadmap and the Dragonfly's roadmap. And uh, um, we will try to support the uh, security part Actually, um, before, the, before April, Dragonfly support private container image registry is a little bit weak. But in the new version, we make it, we have made it. 
and the different encryption algorithm in data transmission. Some customers, some end users of Dragonflies, they mentioned that, can you make the data transmission encrypted? And uh, it, is a, it is a feature, it is an enhancement. And uh, the CNCF ecosystem deploys a client using daemon set in Kubernetes. And uh, we've already supported to uh, deploy Dragonfly as a Helm, use, using Helm chat. So uh, on the GitHub, on the repo, you can see every details about that. I think uh, the Dragonfly teams uh, did very well in the docs. <laughs> okay. So the efficient, so efficiently, efficiency, we we were planning to do the dynamically downloading rate limiting and the intelligent scheduling algorithm, uh, because you know, on every node, image pooling is combined with the container runtime. So if you have applications running on the node, and at the same time you received a image pooling request, oh maybe some unexpected things will happen, right? Some conflict. But for the distribution, we try to make it uh, bear the low and the lower and the lower risk. So we try to, try to, try to take the uh, intelligence scheduling algorithms on the agent into consideration. For the openness, uh, we are doing the refactoring thing. Uh, uh, at the, in the late of May, it is uh, uh, one week later, we will release a, a new version of Golang. It's, uh, it is 0.4.0 version. Uh, we, uh, we wish that everyone could try to test it. <laughs> and uh, highly user customers models, scalability, and, and uh, yeah, and the scenarios we will try to make Dragonfly to to be fitable on the cloud environment. Uh, as we know, the so Uber team and the eBay team and the Dragonfly team. First, we all design the tools in internal environment. Internal environment, and lots of the lots of that is on the bare metal or physical machine. But the cloud environment is a little bit different, totally on the infrastructure storage and the network. So we will try to make it more fitable on the cloud, yeah. And this is a brief introduction about the roadmap. Actually, Dragonfly sessions, as this Kubicon, we have three sessions. Yesterday, uh, we talked about, in details, the integration of Dragonfly and Harbor. And uh, this session is a very brief Dragonfly intro session. Tomorrow, we will have a Dragonfly deep dive. Uh, we wish that everyone could go to this session to have a thoroughly uh, study of it. And uh, the maintainer of Dragonfly, one from eBay, Mr. Zhou, and one from Alibaba, Mr. Zhang, will give this session. And here is the link of Dragonfly's repo. Please try to find anything you want on this repo. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> QA time. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, we have the demand to replicate images across uh, five regions, US, Taiwan, Australia, uh, Europe, and China. So, and we would considering to use Dragonfly for this. Would you say that uh, this uh, geo-replication that Dragonfly was, uh, would give us an uh, advantage, especially from Europe to China? Okay. Oh, oh I, I have this one. Okay. okay. You are considering the replication from different continents, right? Uh, actually, it is the job of uh, Supernode. Supernode. Uh, in this part, we are uh, very active with the Hubble team to, to, to see, uh, in fact, which, which one should be responsible for this part. Uh, uh, Hubble team, they, they have registries. Registry have their storage. 
Storage can do the replication, right? And we doing the distribution. If, the regist if you have already done the replication of the registry, then Dragonfly will not do this part. But if you, if you are not taking the advantages of the registry, then Dragonfly can take over this part. Actually, in Alibaba internal, we implemented this part. Different regions, different zones, we can use the replication feature of Dragonfly to do the transmission. Okay, that means. Yeah. But I'm afraid this feature is not in the open source version. Okay. Why? Because uh, few customers, few end users request this feature. So if you want this feature, you can, you can put forward the issue on the repo. We can try to make a de decision with Dragonfly team and the Hubbard team to, to provide a full stack solution for you. Yeah. Okay, then um, if I would use a container registry from Alibaba, and in Europe, for example, would it be uh, replicated for me to mainland China? Uh, <laughs> actually, this is the question for the product team. I only work for the technical team. But uh, if you are interested, uh, I can try to find the correct one for you to give the production okay. part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have a huge interest to get container images from Europe as fast as possible to mainland China. <laughs> yeah, I okay. see. Uh, so currently, the, the, I understood that the registry is not replicated in, in, within Alibaba across regions. It's not. Uh, as far as I know, we provide container registry. The container registry product in Alibaba Cloud, it is named ACR. And ACR have, yes. I think, have uh, lots of zones. First, the China mainland and uh, the, the Singapore. But uh, for the Europe side, I'm not sure if there is a already have one. So uh, uh, back to the China mainland and Singapore, they have the replication. They have the replication for the image in the registry. But for the Europe, I, I, I'm not sure the feature is implemented on this side. OK, yeah, because we are suffering a lot from the rate limiting of the Great Firewall. OK, you can send me a ticket, and, and I will try to okay, push them great. to make it. Yeah. OK, thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> One question. Um, do you plan to um, incorporate other container runtimes? So you, you use Docker exclusively, or what's the plan with uh, other uh, runtimes? So okay. is it totally dependent on Docker? That was okay, the question. okay. Uh, this is a very good question. Uh, it is about the runtime, runtime options for Dragonfly. Actually, Dragonfly is a very general, general P2P image distribution tools. Currently, Docker is the most popular, popular one. And in Alibaba, we have another container runtime, which is named Punch Container. We can use Dragonfly as well. And maybe in the future, uh, the most neutral container runtime is Container D or Cryo. And uh, we support it also. Uh, we, we also supported that. So, so it is uh, uh, transparent for the for the for the container runtime for the container runtime. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Just a quick question. Uh, so you mentioned a second ago that you have work to do to get to work in other clouds like AWS and stuff. Um, is, so it doesn't work there at the minute, or it just doesn't work as efficiently as you would like. Uh, you said the cloud environment. Yeah, you said you you need. I'm sure in the last slide you said one on the roadmap was more work to get to work in cloud environments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are trying to make it a, to fitable for more cloud environment like AWS. So it, it doesn't work at all at the minute, or it's just not very efficient. Not very efficient. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK, OK. I have to say there are uh, some differences. Uh, the open source project, uh, yeah, I can show you the slides. Yeah, uh, the most uh, 
largest difference is that so internal in Alibaba, we have a up layer uh, beyond the super node. There's a, there's a super node controller to manage the cross zone things, cross zone things. But we only, but uh, uh, the super node and the DF daemon and the DF get, they are totally the same. Uh, why we, we, why we keep it inside? Uh, the reason is that uh, in the industry, maybe um, the sceneries our customers, our end users met are not, not so large scales. But the, the top layer of super node is used for uh, large scales. So we, we try to make, make the Dragonfly to suitable for more general cases, so we didn't open source to that part. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, actually, for your case, uh, I think you can use Dragonfly. When you build the when you build the images in the builder machines or something like that, you can push the image to the registry. And uh, with another cluster, with the original way, you you will try to send a request from the running cluster to pull images from the registry. But uh, uh, but with Dragonfly, you can deploy Dragonfly in this running cluster. You can use the preheat preheat API uh, to try to try to make the super node to cast the image from the registry. Then the cluster can enjoy the P2B distribution efficiencies. So so I think it can work. Definitely, it can work. So for the for the network network issues, if you have different uh, clusters with one one Kubernetes with the federation policies, I think you'd better to deploy to, uh, deploy uh, each super node in each cluster. It's a good way. Actually, in Alibaba, we we, we do this. Uh, uh, the preheat API is only used to sync some, some certain images. You specified image, yeah. Because in Alibaba, we all, because we we also met other issues. Is that uh, lots of images existed in the same node? <laughs> we it is very hard to clean that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for your attention. Yeah.